negative 7. Two distinct non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are equal. Two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, which I'll discuss here in, in a little bit. Graph the lines using the slope and y-intercept on the same coordinate plane. So here I can see that my slope is 2 and my y-intercept is 1. So I'm going to graph that. Go up 2 over 1. So my line is this right here. And then this one is 2 and 0, negative 3. So we go up 2 over 1. So as you can see, these lines have the same slope. And when you graph it, they're not going to intersect each other. They're actually called parallel lines. A line is perpendicular to another line if the slope is the negative reciprocal of the other line. So before I do this example, let me just try this one here. Let's say you have a slope of m equals 1 half. Then um, another line to it would be that's perpendicular would be the negative. So I write the negative and get the reciprocal of this right here. So reciprocal means the reciprocal means that you're going to flip the fraction. So we get 2 over 1. So m is equal to negative 2. If a line has slope 4, then it's negative reciprocal of that slope. So if this is 4, there's really a 1 under it. And so we're going to have the negative flip the 4, the fraction here, so we get negative 1 fourth. If a line has slope negative 2 thirds, then we write the negative. The reciprocal of this number is going to be negative. 3 halves. So negative negative makes it positive um, 3 halves. So in reality, or what's happening here, as is, is you can see, if you start with a positive, then the perpendicular line will end up with a negative um, number, and then you take the reciprocal, so you're flipping that fraction. So here I started with a negative 2 thirds, and I ended up with a positive 3 halves. I started with a positive half, and I ended up with a negative 2. Find the slope intercept form of the line that passes through the point negative 4 and are parallel and perpendicular to this other line. So the first thing we want to do is figure out what the slope is that we're working with. And so if I have this line here, 5x minus 3, 8 equals 8. I need to find the slope, so I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract x on both sides and divide by negative 3. So y is equal to 5 thirds x minus 8 thirds. So all we want from this line is going to be the slope, which is 5 thirds. Once we have the slope, which is 5 thirds, then we can proceed. So let's work with the parallel first. So the slope is 5 thirds, and the point that they gave us is negative 4 and 1. So this just becomes like the other problems. y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. y1 is 1. My slope is 5 thirds x minus negative 4. I'm using 5 thirds because it's parallel. That means that I'm going to use the same slope. Okay, let's simplify a little bit here. So we get y minus 1 is equal to 5 thirds x. Negative, negative is positive. 5 thirds times 4 is 20 thirds. And so if we simplify some more. Let's add 1 on both sides. And so we need a common denominator. So this one I can rewrite as 3 over 3. 
20 plus 3 is 23. And so this would be my equation. For parallel. So for perpendicular, we still use the same point. And now the slope, since it's perpendicular, we're going to get the negative reciprocal of this, which means the opposite um, sign. So if this is positive, we're going to end up with a negative. And then get the reciprocal, which means to flip the fraction. And then we start the process again. So if you do this correctly, then your answer would be y equals negative 3 fifths x minus 7 fifths. So I'm going to put a star here, and that means um, try, try it on your own and see if you get this answer. If you don't, please reach out to me and I'll help you find your mistake.